All right, guys, so as I stated earlier, um, I definitely want to make this Arctic Bat Trooper a special one, almost like a uh, leader, uh, perhaps. I want to, I don't know, I just want to do some washes on him. Uh, I want to do some upgrades on his, you know, just painting in general, do some touch-ups on his face there. I want to do some painting here. Uh, not so much as his weapons. I think I'll leave his weapons alone. Uh, well, I, may, I might color this uh, black, uh, but yeah, I definitely want to make some changes. Definitely want to change. I think they there's a missed opportunity here. I think this is actually backwards. I think this would be better as a black blade coming out and then with silver teeth uh, there and then a black uh, part over here. And this can be silver as well. But anyways, uh, I'm gonna do some touch ups on him. Uh, this is what he looks like right now. And um, we'll definitely uh, get, get cracking on that uh, so that, uh, you know, I don't know. I just want to make him look a little different, a little bit more special. What you can do as far as kind of, um, you know, customizing it or painting it a little bit better. Uh, really, this isn't, I mean, it is customizing because you're doing a custom paint on it. Um, but, uh, you know, we're, we'll, we'll check that out and, you know, we'll see as it goes. I might do a time lapse over there so you can kind of see what I'm doing, kind of like I did with that last one. Uh, so it's not hidden to you over there with my messy hobby table. All right, guys, wish me luck. Let's see how it turns out. guys so here we are this is what i ended up with as uh my version of kind of a leader uh of the arctic bats would look like to me um it took me a while to get this done uh i would say you know, it took me the better part of the afternoon for the day uh, maybe about three, four hours. Uh, it's a lot of dry brushing, a lot of washing, a lot of repainting. Um, and just, uh, you know, all around detail that I had to get to, to uh, make it all come together. Um, I did a lot of washing and repainting on that leather. I, th I think, to me, it looks like leather. I think that's what Hasbro tried to try to tell us that that was uh, with the colors and the plastics that they did. Um, you know, they did. I did some dry brushing and some washes down here, did some washes on the leather, uh, changed the color of these straps around the ankles, around the thighs, uh, added a wash and a color up here, um, here as well, redid this plate, added some color, some different colors all around it, added a wash and a high uh, uh, a dry brushing to that arm. I did a little bit on the weapon, not much on his, um, you know, bigger uh, sniper rifle there. And I also did tinker around with this one a little bit as well. I didn't like the de facto gray extruded color that they had, but I did a lot of my work on his head. Oh man, it I, to me, it just looks way better now. His head just screams 
kill a robot now. <laughs> that that eyeball, man. And, you know, it just looks, fan to, to me, it looks fantastic. I mean, like I said, everybody has their own opinion, and that's fantastic. You guys can have your own opinion. Um, here's what this guy looks like here. And, you know, I'm probably going to put another picture of, of him when he looks, you know, what the other guy looks like next to him, maybe right here, or maybe at the end of the video. Uh, but yeah, it took about three or four hours. Uh, had to repaint a lot of stuff, had to re, you know, redo it carefully. There were some mess ups along the way. I th you guys may have not, may or may not have caught it on the, um, on the time lapse, but, uh, yeah, there were, some, were a couple of screw ups there, but for the most part, I really, really liked the way it turned out. I mean, you guys let me know in the comments, you know, do you like the way it turned out? Colored his backpack there. Uh, and again, I'll put a, you know, I'll put a picture somewhere of all the paints that I used, maybe at the beginning, maybe at the end, I don't know. Uh, just a picture of, of all the colors, all the different colors that I use. Try to battle wear them a little bit. You know, this guy, he's been promoted because he's been through a few uh, dustings with the Joes, right? He, he's not, I had to resist the urge heavily to add some blood spatter across here. Oh man, I had to resist, but uh, I, did, I decided in the end not to do it uh, just to maintain that, uh, you know, just to maintain the consistency of, of what he is, right? I didn't want to blood spatter that one. Maybe if I do another one, uh, I'll, I'll, you know, what he looks like after he gets into it with the Joe and that chainsaw. I don't know. Who's going to be the unlucky Joe? I don't know. <laughs> we'll figure that out later. Uh, so yeah, this is what it looks like. Guys, tell me in the bottom what you think. Uh, does it look better? You know, and, and it's also, it's unrealistic, I think, uh, uh, for me to expect Hasbro uh, to do something like this. Um, it's just not feasible, right? Who's the Then the cost of these things would just go astronomically high, right? It wouldn't, you know, who's going to spend the time to sit there and do all these little details on the figure? Uh, no, it's just not going to work. Uh, people, it would just be too expensive overall. So, uh, anyways, uh, that's what I spent my afternoon on. And it, it was a joy to me to do this. Um, uh, you know, you know, and a couple of people were, were you know, were kind of joshing me for a little bit. But, you know, and just to, you know, again, toot my own horn, I have been a published artist a couple of times, more than a couple. Uh, and if you guys uh, ever seen, have you, if you guys have ever opened up a copy of White Dwarf, you might've seen my name in there. So my eyes can't go that small anymore with Warhammer 40K. Uh, but yeah, I was in a couple of those. Uh, so that's how I got to doing some of the stuff that I do here. So um yeah, like I said, I can do this size scale now uh, still pretty, pretty well because of my eyes. You start getting older and your eyes just don't work like they used to. But uh, that smaller scale, I just can't do anymore. It's just too, too small. Anyways, let me know in the comments below, guys. Let me know what you thought about it. Here's a list of, here's a picture. I'm going to put it right here. Here's a picture of all the paints that I use to get to this. And um, let me know in the comments below. Do you like it? Do you not like it? Are you guys going to do it? Uh, do you think I could have done something different? Do you think I could have added a different piece of color somewhere? Uh, let me know in the comments below. And as always, guys, don't forget to like and subscribe. And as long as you guys keep watching, I'll keep rolling them out.